What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to bring up a swing trade that I am going to be doing. Now, this is not investment advice. I'm just telling you the trade that I'm going to be doing, and then we'll be recording it and see how it does over the next week. This is going to be a weekly swing trade, and I'm doing it because we have the housing news coming out, plus the RSI, and all the indicators are lining up for me to say, okay, I'm going to start taking a swing trade on this. Now, this is SQQQ. This is the inverse relationship to QQQ, which is the NASDAQ. So I'm going to be betting against the market. And as you can see here, this is the NASDAQ market, QQQ. And I use the RSI to get an indicator if it is overbought. So right now, it's at 70 right now at this top piece right here. So within a six, within a one-year time frame, it is at the ultimate high. And just going by history, looking at here, even when it was up here, it sold off from 400 all the way down to 330. And then when we go back up here, the RSI was in the 60s, 70s. It was right here. Went from 375 all the way down to 280. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to happen for certain. Obviously, nobody knows. <clears throat> but I think it's worth building into a position where the RSI is already oversold. I'm sorry, overbought. And it's at 70. So this is where I'm looking to make my entry. I'm going to show you on the QQQ, this is the one month chart where it's just very extended at 61 and even going on the 10 day chart, RSI is just high on every single chart. So now I'm going to go to the inverse and do SQQQ, which means that when you buy shares of this, you are betting that the market is going to go down. If QQQ goes down, then SQQ, which I'm going to be investing in, is going to go up because the market is selling off. And when you look at things like the SPY, <clears throat> because the SPY and QQQ trade together, the RSI is over 70. So for me, it's a no-brainer. I feel like it's time to start building a position. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to put my entire investment that I plan investing in SQQ right now, but I want to get a starter position, and then I'm going to start buying at levels. So this is a one-year chart, and just looking at the one-year chart, I'm going to make three purchases on this. I'm going to start, I'm going to buy one at the end of this video just to start with a XYZ shares to see where I'm comfortable. This is the first support level. And then the next entry that I'm going to be having, because I, I, I just don't feel that it's going to go much lower than this, to be honest. At 28 is my last buy on this. So I'm going to buy shares here at 33.5. I'm going to buy more shares at $30. Let me just draw it out so you can see it right here. And I'm going to buy shares at the 30.5, 30.4, and then 28.16 with my last entry, with my last entry being the biggest entry. So a good example is if I start with 100 shares here and then 300 shares here and then 500 shares here to build up to a thousand share position. So. I just look at the RSI, it's down to 30, and this history usually likes to repeat itself. Even following the RSI here, it was right here around $32 and blasted up to 68. And this is gonna be a swing trade position. So when you do swing trade positions, you gotta make sure that you can actually handle the swings because you're not gonna expect this kind of rise just immediately. So you know, even if that's only 25 shares and that's all you can handle to swing, it's worth it, especially if it goes up 10 points. So it's just something to think about SQQ is something that I've been watching. I've been very patient because I knew I missed the ride up here. But now that it's dead back down here and the R size here, I believe the market will have some sort of pullback. And realistically, where could we possibly take gains on this? Let's see if we if the trade goes our way. We'll look at the one month and my exit at buying at these levels, 30, you know, less than 34, less than, you know, $34. Just zooming in on this, it looks like we would have resistance. Let me show right here. It looks like you would have resistance right at this line here at $38. So I'm trying to swing trade this, you know, four points, five points, try to get a nice four to five points out of it. And I'll still hold on to some shares if I get that bounce back up in the next month or two. But this is a trade that I think is possible. We're definitely you know, a descending pattern, it's definitely selling off. But it's something that I believe that could potentially have some nice gains to it. It's really hard to draw these these lines with 
with fidelity because they're just not as good with the charts. But let me see if I can make this look kind of nice. But that's the swing trade I want to bring up. You know, obviously SQQ is a risky trade because you're going against the market. It's definitely not where, you know, where you really want to be. But I'm just going strictly off of RSI. And I think once we break, once SQQ breaks this like this region here and it comes out of 33.5 and breaks above $35, I think we're going to head right back up to 36, 37 dollars and then hopefully get up to here at 38. But that's where I'm hoping to swing them. I just wanted to bring it up so you guys have a play. I haven't made a video in a while. And I think this would be the nice start of a swing trade to build into it. Even if you're starting with, you know, 500 bucks, 1000 bucks, you can build into these positions. You don't got to go your whole position in right away. But it's getting to a point where I look at the overall market and it almost pretty much made a full V-shaped recovery. So I'm, I'm hoping to get a nice pullback. I mean, look right here on the one year, here and then boom. And then when you even go on a six month chart, see it a little bit better, you see it right here and then comes back up. So I want a retracement from 333, maybe retest this nine, this 20 EMA at 315. And 15 points on QQQ is, is big money on SQQ because it's a three times leverage stock. So this is what I'm looking at. I just want to bring it up to you guys.